Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard Season 6. Today, it's not going to be a regular episode. I want to do a specific video and for a specific reason. It won't be a long video, guys, but I want to... For whoever out there still doesn't know about how to fortify something properly, and I know there are some people out there, for sure. So if, if you do know how to fortify your cards properly and you know everything about it, then... You don't, you, this video isn't for you, and uh, you might not enjoy me rambling on, but I'm going to explain on how to fortify a card properly so you know how to do it, guys, and, that, you know, so you don't have to ask the question anymore, and wonder, you know, and if, and if maybe you're doing what I did for the first couple of days, and was just to make sure I was doing everything on the cards, and then fortifying it, well, I'm here to tell you that there is an easier way. So anyway, let's get straight into it. As you guys can see, I got Baron Corbin. Uh, regular pro so two cards pro dim baron corbin there you go um he is completed by the way so before we do anything i need to go into the performance center so i can just get I, this is the reason i couldn't record this video earlier i tried recording this video wednesday um and he was in here and i don't want to spend the credits and i had other cards to train so i didn't actually do it on him but i've been playing some giants and he was in there so he's been coming in for some games and it actually completed this a little bit early but yeah there we go Baron Corbin's done so now I can show you guys I can do this basically because it wasn't letting me fortify earlier so there you go 100, 100 games played it doesn't really matter guys that the games played on the pro it doesn't matter you can always do it later on but I have the 100 games played he's level 105 and he's pro I can literally just go fortify right here you can see this Baron Corbin here has zero matches played he is zero out of 100 level um, nothing's done on this Baron Corbin. I can do this. Yes, I am sure. I'm going to chuck that Baron Corbin in. Now, the stats haven't changed at all. And for some people are like, oh, I've done it wrong. I've messed up my fortification. Well, you can see that there's a bar here. And the bar basically is empty. Now, if I show you my gobbledygooker, for example, you'll see that the bars are full. Um, forget the second one. We'll just look at the first one. The bar is full. The bar has gone up like energy kind of like a level it's just more Im you can just improve the card even more so basically what you want to do is you want to train the card up um obviously it's level 105 but you can actually train the card up still and it will just progress this bar up so you want to fill this bar up basically and then you will get the stats so it's a lot easier than playing the 100 games and leveling up the card up before you might as well just fortify the card straight away and then you can always improve so we'll just throw in these 33 cards and you'll see the bar of the fortify going up there you go card xp increased by 67,000 about just under a half of the of the fortification bar has been leveled up and if we go in here you'll be able to see the progress on it and then once that's done it will have the stats of the fortification um there you go guys it's that simple that's how you can fortify a card you don't have to worry about playing the games leveling the card up proing it before you can literally just if you pull a third boom chuck it in and fortify uh, that's how you do it guys, I hope this video is helpful, hope I didn't ramble on for too long, 3 minutes and 30 seconds, so not too bad, I know I repeated myself, I just wanted to make sure um, that it was very clear, and if you do have any other questions about how to fortify a card, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to answer all of your comments. Till the next video guys, take care and peace out.